Now, will WMATA actually get the funding it needs to avoid deep cuts to service? Of course, this is something that we have been talking about for months, a potential $750 million budget shortfall. And transit leaders say they need additional funding from D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Maryland and D.C. lawmakers have agreed to help fill the gap, but Virginia remains a question mark. Let's go live to our Matt Gregory outside WMATA headquarters. Matt, Virginia lawmakers, some of them have been pushing back against additional funding. Yeah, Adam, in the Senate version of the budget, because the General Assembly is working on two, the House and the Senate, in the Senate version, there is no additional funding for Metro, at least not the one that was released this week to the Senate at large. And the largest opposition to Metro funding is coming from the Hampton Roads region, one of the state senators there. So let's take you through today's meeting, because in today's Metro Board of Directors meeting, GM Randy Clark discussed the upcoming budget. He told the board the ongoing discussions with Virginia lawmakers had gone well. Over the weekend, Hampton Roads State Senator Louise Lucas, however, expressed concern with Metro, including its oversight. As chair of the Finance Committee, she left additional Metro funding off the Senate budget, funding that is crucial to keep Metro from deep cuts to service. But this week, Randy Clark and board chair Paul Smedberg met with Lucas in Richmond, and they both feel pretty optimistic about Virginia helping to fund the shortfall after that conversation. Look, the meeting was very encouraging, and she did give us a lot of time, um, and she hasn't given a lot of meetings or granted a lot of meetings. So the next two weeks in Virginia are going to be, uh, you know, important and the House, you know, has uh, already passed something. Now, as far as what he's alluding to, the House did pass a budget that does have additional funding for Metro in it, but this week coming up will be where the Senate and the House have to marry those two budgets and find a place for it. So will Metro's additional funding be in it? That's the hope. Now, as far as the rest of the budget shortfall, because combined the three jurisdictions don't fill that whole deficit, there will be possible uh, changes to service as well as fare increases. What could those look like and how could they affect you? That's in one hour here at WUSA 9. But for now, in Southwest, outside of Metro's headquarters, Matt Gregory, back to you. We know so many of you, you know, rely on Metro to get around, get to work, things of that nature. Matt, we'll see you soon. Thank you.